Okay, good morning. Welcome to math number 510A. Math number 510. So our, our friend Alexander uh, Bogomolny um, the other day asked the question. I'm looking at it on the screen. screen. I wrote it down slightly differently, but I'll explain why in a second. Uh, numbers x, y, z are distributed uniformly in uh, 0 to 1. That means they're all between 0 and 1. Yeah. Uh, find the probability that the maximum value of of x, y, z minus the minimum value is less than or equal to two thirds. Okay. Hmm. But I've written it differently. I've said I've said find the volume of this shape maximum of x, y, z minus minimum of x, y, z is less than or equal to two thirds. Um, this is a very challenging problem, um, um, and I want to make sure we understand it because you wouldn't think this is a problem for kids, right? Yeah. No. So, do you understand when I write the maximum value of x, y, z, what does that mean, do you think? Um, I think it's like, how, like, if you choose three numbers, how large you can make it. Okay, so what if the numbers I chose were 1, 2, and 3? What would the maximum be? Um, 123, uh, 321. Oh, I see what you're doing, yeah. No, I'm not making numbers out of them. I'm just choosing three numbers. One, two, and three. Yeah. And saying, what's the maximum? Three. That's right. What about five, twelve, and thirteen? It would be thirteen. What about eleven, four, and negative three? Eleven. That's right. And what do you think min of x, y, z means? The smallest, the smallest one. The smallest number in the smallest of these three numbers. Yeah, and we're all when we pick our numbers, we're picking them all be, to be between zero and one. So my examples actually aren't quite exactly what's happening here. But what is what does the shape look like? If I take an x value always between 0 and 1, a y value always between 0 and 1, and a z value always between 0 and 1, what do you, th what do you think that shape's going to look like? Um, a triangle? Well, there's three of them, though. Mm. What do you think? I think... Oh, I happen to have a zone. Looks like a cube. Okay, oh. so this is 0. And we go over in the x direction, the most we can go is 1. Yeah. The y direction, the most we can go is 1. And the z direction, the most we can go is 1. So, so that would make a cube. That would make a cube. And so if this is 0 and I go 1, 1, 1, what is this point over here? What are the coordinates of this point? So this is the origin here? Yep. So this is um, 1, 3, one, one, one. Yep, that's right. How about this one here? One, one, zero. How about this one here? Zero, one, one. Zero, one, one. Very good. All right, now we can start even trying to wonder, what are some points where the maximum value minus the minimum value is less than two-thirds? Well, any point here where you have a one and a zero, like one, one, zero, or one, zero, zero, is going to be in this. Why is that? Because the maximum value is going to be 1, uh -huh. minus the minimum value is 0. Uh -huh. is, oh, you want it less than? Yeah, less than. Oh, okay then. Alright. That would be, so to find the, to find the, um, the complement of this shape, you could use that way. Oh, okay. Interesting to talk about the complement. The so complement would be greater than, okay. strictly greater than. That's right. I mean, we actually are going to look at both of them, but what are some points, um, and I'm glad you mentioned that, what are some points where the maximum value minus the minimum value is less than two-thirds? Like one, one, one. Okay. Why? Because the maximum value and the minimum value are both one. They're the same. Okay. So zero is less than two-thirds. All right. Give me another point that satisfies this condition besides one, one, one. Like one, zero, a third. Okay. Let's see. What's the maximum? Um... Uh, one. What's the minimum? Uh, zero. What? So does it satisfy? No. Okay. So it would be like one, 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 two third. One, one, one third. One, one, one third. Okay. What's the maximum? It's one. What's the minimum? A third. All right. What's the maximum minus the minimum? It's two thirds. Okay. So that point would be one, one, a third. Yeah. Okay. Good. You give me one now. Um, like, um, one, uh, one, 
um, a half and one and a half a third. One and a half a third. Oh, interesting. So over one, up the y value a half, and then the z value one third. Yes. Okay, so the maximum is? One. The minimum is? A third. Okay, so we satisfied. Yeah. Now give me a point, last one, inside the cube. So none of the coordinates are one. So it satisfies this. One half, one half, one half. Ah, where's that point? So it's the center. The center. Okay. There. All right. So we found a few points that satisfy this. Okay? Yes. But overnight, I 3D printed the shape and the complement of the shape. So I'm glad you mentioned that. Mm. And we're going to take a look at them now. Okay.